Swim.net and I'm here today to talk to you about gauze. Now, a lot of people know that they need gauze for their supplies, but there are so many different varieties and options. What exactly are your options? So first of all, let's talk about sterile and non-sterile. Your non-sterile gauze usually comes in a loosely wrapped package, which is easily torn, and it's basically just a bunch of stacked gauze. Um, most likely it will come in a package of 200, and these are great for stopping your bleeding and for cleaning wounds. So this is what you would get your non-sterile gauze for. Now the sterile gauze comes in a package which hopefully the gauze has been sterilized before it was put into this package. Now this is the dressing that you're going to place directly on a wound after it's been cleansed. The reason you're doing this is because you want to prevent additional bacteria from being placed into the wound. So this is your sterile, this is your non-sterile. Now what about sizes? This is what's called a 4x4. Very simply, it's 4 inches by 4 inches. We also have options of 2 by 2s. And there are several different options for um, sterile gauze and non-sterile gauze, but those are typically the sizes that you're going to find. Um, you also have iPads. Now those come in a special shape so that it fits exactly around the outside of the eye socket and can be um, placed on very easily. Now another option for gauze is something called either non-adherent or non-stick. And a brand name for this, you can see here, non-stick, is called Telfin. Some people just um, refer to all non-stick gauze as um, Telfin pads. But I want to show you here that this has a shiny side versus plain gauze, which you can say has a bit of a rough area. Now if you can imagine this being placed on a wound as it's healing, you may pull off the healing skin. Whereas the shiny or smooth side of a non-stick gauze can be placed on a burn or a wound and not pull the new healing skin off. So this is really great for burns and for healing skin. Now, you also have a million different size bandages. There's knuckle bandage, spot bandage, finger bandage, etc., etc. Um, some big ones are really great to have so that you don't use up your sterile gauze as much, you can buy these much cheaper. So get a lot of different size band-aids. Um, you can also find something called Curlex or Clean Wrap. And basically what that is, is it takes some of the regular gauze and they make a very long, long line of it and roll it up and that's what you have, Curlex. Now this is great, this can be used to hold your gauze, your sterile gauze of course, onto an extremity and wrapped so that you have a nice secure um, um, adherent to the, the skin but you haven't put any tape on the skin which may cause some blistering if you have allergies to latex or sometimes pull off hair if you're very hairy. So this is great for holding. It's also great for um, stopping bleeding. You can put this into a big bunch and immediately get a nice wad of gauze which was wrapped into a very small container for the bleeding. You can use this to clean wounds and also if you're going to make something called a wet to dry dressing which means you're going to soak this sterile gauze in some betadine soaked water. If you're going to put betadine in the water make sure it's very very light. It's almost a tea color. Um, but if you're going to make a wet dressing, sterile water place it in the wound. Those are generally wounds that are called avulsions where a big chunk of skin has been removed. So you're going to put the wet dressing in there, then you're going to be covering it with a sterile dry dressing. So that's what we mean by wet to dry. And you're going to change that very often. Um, we also have things that are called ABD pads. ABD pads are just a larger pad used for wound covering. And these come in different sizes, but generally speaking, they're about five by nine. And they are not quite as adherent as the regular gauze is. They do have a bit of a smooth edge, not quite the smooth edge as one actually called non-adherent or non-stick. So you get yourself some ABD pads. There are also things called blood stop or blood stoppers. <clears throat> now, 
These are similar to an Israeli bandage, which I'll show you in a moment, that they have a dressing area right here, which has the shiny, as you can see, and the nonstick, which you can place, I'll use my leg, on a wound, and then use the Curlex to close it up. And they do give you an extra one. So you can just wrap that around the wound very quickly, very easily. It is sterile. You can see it was in a sterile package. So you have your dressing and your Curlex in one. Now they also have large, I'm not going to tear this open because I want to keep this. Um, these are called trauma dressings. They come in something generally about 10 or 12 inches by 30 inches. Those are for very large wounds. Those are something you're going to place on a much, much larger wound. So you want to have quite a few of those. <clears throat> you can also use ACE bandages to hold your sterile gauze to the wound. There's also something called um, Coban um, or Scentsy Wrap. And basically this is like an ACE bandage, but it has a sticky surface to it. So as you're wrapping it around, it actually sticks to itself. So in the end, you don't have to use these clips or any tape to hold it on, it just sticks to itself. And you can cut that um, once you've wrapped it. And never ever put these on too tight because you don't want to stop the circulation to the lower extremities. <clears throat> Another one that is very popular, you'll recognize the package, but I've opened this several times. Um, obviously it's not sterile anymore. The emergency bandage, or it's also commonly called the Israeli bandage. It does come nicely wrapped, not like I have it. But basically again, like the blood stopper, you have a pad, which is sterile. You have a very stretchy elastic wrap. And this is something that even yourself can put on if you have to bandage yourself. You can put it in on either as a tourniquet or as a dressing. You'll be putting it in that clip, which I'll show you a little bit closer in a second, and then just wrap it around. Let me show you for the camera. Of course, if I'm caught. Hold on. Okay. It's because I've used it so many times. But basically what you do is you go once around, you put it within the clip here, and then you go back around the other way. And then you would just do that until it's finished. So this is an awesome bandage for either a self tourniquet or after bleeding to help hold it on. And you want to make sure it's really, really tight because if you have stopped bleeding, this is going to be your hand on that wound after it's finished. Um, some other things you can um, use for dressings are <coughs> uh, <laughs> diapers, um, Kotex pads, maxi pads. Um, there are many feminine hygiene products that work really, really well. Um, you can buy them in big bulk. Um, they're not sterile, so they're not going to have the words sterile dressing on them. However, <clears throat> for emergency situations, anything is better than nothing. So this is Nurse Amy. I think I've covered just about every gauze possibility. Oh, one more thing. There are special very, very expensive gauze pads that may have Vaseline or silver products on them. Um, if you want to have some of those, that's great. They also have ones with um, antibacterials um, within them. Um, but again, they're very expensive and they may have expiration dates because of the products that were put on them. So if you have any questions, please write to us at drbonespodcast at aol.com. Please visit our website. We have over 250 articles on medical preparedness, organic gardening, herbal remedies, and um, our website is www.doomandbloom.net. We also have written a book which came out in January, and it's the Doom and Bloom Survival Medicine Handbook, and it's what to do when no help is on the way. So we hope you find that very helpful. We've gotten some good reviews. Thank you very much. So stay tuned next time, and uh, we'll have some more medical issues discussed. Thank you.